Hey everybody, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Mike and I'm eating raisins. This over here is my buddy Will and he's wearing this hat. Will's also sick down in the comments section below in the comments. Wish him well. <coughs> Good. Good convincing, solid, dude, that's proof. And long story made as short as humanly possible, pop giant Taylor Swift has been publicly upset with rap giant Kanye West over the lyrics in his new song, Famous, which state, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Now Kanye is a little bit confused by this because he ran some of the lyrics by Swift before the song was even released. There's even a video of him doing so over the phone, a video that was captured by his wife, famous person, Kim Kardashian. In the video, Swift doesn't sound upset at all. In fact, she kind of sounds excited to be included and even thanks Kanye for the heads up and the flowers he sent to her at some point. Why do he send flowers? I don't know, he does that. Why don't people send each other edible arrangements? You ever get one of those? Oh no. You just eat a bouquet of watermelon? Here is why none of this means anything. All this did was reveal deeper character flaws in everyone involved. One, Taylor Swift appears to be cool with everything that Kanye was telling her over the phone, which makes her seem like a hypocrite now for all the stuff that she said after the song came out. Two, Kanye seemed to be doing a cool thing by calling up Taylor Swift and being like, hey, these are the lyrics and that is a cool thing, unless of course you're filming it so you could have a receipt for later on. Kind of means nothing when you're secretly filming your conversation secretly. It's like my mom always said, Mike, if you're truly friends with somebody, you're gonna wanna record everything they say secretly so you can save it for later, which brings us to Kim Kardashian, who totally pulled a real life mean girls. In conclusion, there is no winner here. Just three people who expose themselves for being fake friends. How many of us? The end. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone anywhere else on the spectrum, you're probably aware by now that America is in the middle of electing our next presidential person. Right now, it's between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Donald Trump recently choosing his running mate for vice president as governor Mike Pence. Here are some things you might not know about him. He has a lot of experience as a politician, unlike his partner. He has been governor for four years where he drastically cut taxes and served six congressional terms. He also doesn't like the movie Milan. He claims it's propaganda. He stated, despite her delicate features and voice, Disney expects us to believe that Mulan's ingenuity and courage were enough to carry her to military success on an equal basis with her cloddish cohorts. Obviously, this is Walt Disney's attempt to add childhood expectations of the cultural debate over the role of women in the military. Despite her what? Uh, her delicate, her delicate features? Voice. You can't have delicate features and a voice and also have ingenuity and know-how. <laughs> Not in this Doesn't world. Doesn't make sense. Has to be a cartoon. He's like, this cartoon ain't real. I don't know if you've seen this documentary, Mulan. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Oh my God. Walt Disney was dead for like 32 years when this movie came out. Hey Mike. Yeah. I think he's right. How dare they make a movie that shows that women are equally skilled and talented as men and sometimes more? You know how she saves the day at the end and earns the respect and honor of her country by being herself and using her natural talents? What a bitch. Yeah, right? Somebody keep her in check. Somebody draw her in check. Do the cartoon. Hey guys, you may have noticed that there's been a lot going on in the world and people are protesting and rioting. It's as if we're in a new civil rights movement, but then again, maybe we never left it. The only difference is nobody is trying to be the new Martin Luther King. I volunteer as tribute. Well, I don't know if you could just say, if you could just say that. Mike, I have a dream. Okay. Well, in honor of all the racial tension, a man from Indiana started a GoFundMe page so that racists can send him back to Africa. So far, he's raised about $1,175 of his $100,000 goal. He wrote in the description, if you want me to go back to Africa, I will gladly go. You can help make your dream and mine come true. Accepting all donations, KKK, skinheads, and anyone else with like-minded thinking are welcome to donate. Hey, this is unfair. Mike and I want to get in on this too. I'm Mike. And I'm Will. And, and we're, we're not, not white, white enough, enough for America. America. Please send me back to Africa. Rent is too expensive here in America. You know how hard it is to get an apartment in North Hollywood? Send me $2,000 and I'm good for a decade over there. You gotta send me back to Italy because I don't want to be confused as one of the racist white people over here. Plus I've never been and it seems lovely. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this today. My name is Mike Falzone. I'm William Hayes. In the comments below, why don't you tell us what you care about less than this Kim Kardashian, Kanye Taylor Swift thing? Name anything. And hey, why don't you go on over to youtube.com slash people be like and subscribe to that channel where I make four videos a week, Monday through Thursday. Also, and thank you for reminding me, go ahead and go over to people be like and subscribe to that where Will makes videos every Monday through Thursday. One last thing, while you're on the internet, go on over to people be like 
peoplelikeshow.com, which will transfer you to youtube.com slash peoplebelike, where you can subscribe to my channel where I make four new videos a week. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button over there on People Be Like, where William Haynes, comedian William Haynes, makes videos, comedy videos on the internet, Monday through Thursday. I'm wearing sweatpants this whole time. <laughs> we tried to put this on here to make it seem like I wasn't, but I am. Explosed! <laughs> Guys, 2002 is the best year ever, and I'll tell you why. Oh! <laughs> oh!